Let's do another visual of a force damped harmonic oscillator, where we identify the forcing function, the yh, the yp, and the solution y. So I'll have a differential equation this time y squared, or y double prime plus 2y prime plus 2y is equal to 3 sine t. Now this is slightly underdamped again. So I have a component that's exponential sine and exponential c to my solution. That is the yh. But the driving function is periodic. The driving function is based on sine t. So the yp is going to be based on sine t and cosine t. Sines and cosines are the same frequency. You see that in the solution here. So I separate these four functions so you can look at them. The driving function, 3 sine t. The yh, which is the decaying exponential sine, exponential cosine. Then the yp, which is a ordinary combination of so sine and cosine, and the y is the sum of them both. And the solution, this looks like an ordinary wiggle. It might be a sine curve or a cosine curve, but wait, it's got an extra wiggle in here at the beginning. But otherwise, it doesn't look too remarkable. Maybe this first peak is not quite as high as the second peak. What's going on? Let's add the yh and the yp. And let me adjust the colors here so I can add the same color scheme as I've used previously. So the YH is the solution in red. Yeah, this decays relatively rapidly compared to the frequency. So this solution, e to the minus t sine t, e to the minus t cosine t, that decays relatively rapidly. It takes over six seconds for it to go through one cycle. The frequency, angular frequency is one. And the blue solution is just a regular combination of cosine and sine. It's the minus six fifth cos plus three fifth sine. That's a sine wave with a phase shift, or a cosine wave with a phase shift. And the y, that's the sum of the red curve and the blue curve. At the very beginning, the red clue curve and the blue curve sum to zero. My initial conditions here were beginning with zero position and zero velocity. As time goes on, I add to the blue curve, but not very much. As time goes on, the red curve becomes zero and the black curve becomes the blue curve. The y, p becomes the y. The solution becomes y, p. Where's the driving function in all this? Well, my solution, my eventual solution, steady state solution, has to imitate the driving function. Add the driving function to this picture, and then rearrange the colors again so I keep consistent colors. The driving function's in green. That's a sine wave of amplitude 3. My YP doesn't have the same amplitude. It's not going to have the same amplitude, but it's going to imitate that driving function in the sense that it has the same frequency. It also lags the driving function, peaks a little bit after, valley a little bit after the driving function. The CD, the CD in your book gives you a really nice picture of this if you set up the force damped harmonic oscillator in the mass spring example. Again, make sure you can look at this picture and identify all four images. We let this go on for 20 seconds. Black curve is more like black curve looks more like a sine or cosine. If we just focus on the first four or five seconds, see a little more about the red curve plus the blue curve adding together to form the black curve.